guys, we have so much to cover tonight because, as you know, they've just started another round of voting. Kevin McCarthy is just getting his ass kicked repeatedly. And come on, man, mount that like button for me if you just think that it is glorious, glorious to watch Kevin McCarthy get the ass kicking that he so rightfully deserves. This is like watching, we're basically watching Kevin McCarthy get kicked in the nuts over and over and over and over and over again. And he just keeps coming back for more. And they keep trying to go into these negotiations. And then the negotiations keep falling through. Like we woke up this morning and they were like, yeah, we made all these great concessions to the insurrectionists. And Brian Kilmeade on Fox News is actually calling them insurrectionists. Can you believe this? One of the things that is so amazing about what is going on right now in Washington, D.C. is that it is exposing all of the cowards. Every single one of them. Brian Kilmeade, coward. Fuck Brian Kilmeade. Never trust Brian Kilmeade again if you ever did. Sean Hannity? We're going to talk about Sean Hannity in a sec. But man, Lauren Bobart last night handed it to Sean Hannity. It was glorious. We're going to watch a clip of it. Sean Hannity, coward. Rhino. Never trust Sean Hannity again. You never should have trusted Sean Hannity in the first place because, quite frankly, Sean Hannity goes on his show wearing a CIA and an FBI pin, and I don't know why anyone's trusting anyone in the Republican Party that's going on national television repeatedly wearing a CIA and an FBI pin. Did none of you learn anything from January 6th? Sean Hannity, coward. Mike Huckabee, coward. And we're going to watch a couple clips of other people who have who have been cowardly in this whole affair. But I got to tell you, man, Lauren Bobart, Lauren Bobart has really won back my 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 like my admiration. I was really ambivalent about Lauren Bobart. I got to be honest. I was like, meh. Like, I kind of, like, thought she was, like, a, a a second, like, a second coming of Marjorie Taylor Greene. And I'm not, like, the Marjorie Taylor Greene is, like, kooky and entertaining, but I'm not, like, actually the biggest fan. But Lo- Lauren Bo- Bobart, man, that woman has stuck to her guns. She told ha- Sean Hannity in so many words basically to suck a dick last night. And it was glorious. And we're going to watch a clip of that coming up. So we're going to talk more about that. And Skidmark says, I can't believe they're on the 10th vote. I can. I can believe they're on the 10th vote. And it is glorious. It is fucking glorious. I hope this goes on for months. I hope, I hope they get absolutely nothing done. Now, don't get me wrong. I would like the Republicans to come along and and uh and elect a speaker at some point because I would like them to subpoena people. I would like them to be able to hold hearings on things. I'm not saying I want them to be completely unproductive or anything, but I think that this is the ass kicking that the Republican Party desperately needs to wake up to what their base wants. And I want them to stay strong. The people who are continuing to fight against this, I want them to stay strong. Did you guys notice that Matt Gates today nominated Trump? He nominated Trump for Speaker of the House? Oh my God. Can you imagine Joe Biden's next State of the Union and Donald Trump is behind him clapping? I mean, come on. You can't make this stuff up. But there's a couple clips that I want to play for you. And the first one comes from, oh, Dan Crenshaw. I had such high hopes for Dan Crenshaw. I wanted, oh, no, why is this not working? Oh, no, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show these to you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I got to get it set up in another window, apparently. Apparently, can never do anything the first time. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Let's see if this works. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So you want to let me do that? I think it will. All right. Check this out. This is Dan Crenshaw talking about how everyone who disagrees with them is a narcissist. This handful of members is um, uh, 
very clearly looking for notoriety over principle. If you're a narcissist and you believe that your opinion is so much more important than everyone else's, then you'll keep going. And you'll threaten to tear down the team for, for the benefit of the Democrats just because of your own sense of self-importance. That's exactly what's happening here. No, that's not what's happening at all. This is not about ego. Okay, it might be a little bit about ego. Let's be honest. They're politicians. It's always a little bit about ego. Let's just, you know, we can, we can, we can. But for Dan Crenshaw to honestly come out and say, everyone who disagrees with me is a narcissist. It's like, man, I am so effing sick of people calling everyone who disagrees with them a narcissist or people blaming narcissism on every possible thing that they don't like. It is just so effing annoying. Like if, if Kevin McCarthy cannot negotiate within his own caucus, then that's his fault, man. He is a politician. He is a professional politician. He should have known better. The fact of the matter is, is the reason that Kevin McCarthy is in the position that he is in is because Kevin McCarthy threatened people and said, if you don't vote for me, you're not going to get your committee assignments like a spoiled effing child. Every single person is entitled to their votes. Lauren Bobart is entitled to her vote. Matt Gates is entitled to his vote. Andy Biggs is entitled to his vote. All the rest of them are too. That's the way it works. And to be quite frank, I like that they're putting up Bry Byron Donalds. I like Byron Donalds. I think Byron Donalds is a good guy. I think he'd do a good job. And I think the symbolism of having the first black speaker of the house be a Republican, come on, you raging idiots. This is where Republicans fail every single time. It's like they are handed a monumental victory on a silver platter just just to like byron donalds byron donalds is young byron donalds is handsome byron donalds is a black effing republican that would probably make a great speaker of the house but even if he didn't the symbolism of byron donalds being a young handsome black republican speaker of the house are you kidding me they should be thanking God that the Lord has delivered them, Byron Donalds, on a silver platter at this moment in time. But what are they doing? No, they're fighting for Kevin McCarthy. It's like, can, can you make one smart decision, Republicans? Just one. I'm just asking for one. That's it. But no. No. And no, no Kino reviews. I don't want to be Speaker of the House. I don't want that job. But man, Lauren Boebert, let me just let me pull up this clip of Lauren real quick, because Lauren is on fire over this. It is so great. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Check this out. This is Lauren Boebert on Sean Hannity. It is just, this is a sight to behold. Okay, so my summation from this, and I feel like this is this is uh, pretty accurate, and Skid Marks agrees with me too, totally on Byron Donalds for speaker. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But, but so my summation of this is Sean Hannity was basically like, woman, why won't you listen to us? And Lauren Bobart basically told him to suck a dick. And it's just so good. It's so good. Listen to this woman on fire. Motion to adjourn. Tonight's motion, motion to adjourn that Kevin McCarthy and his supporters are already getting you, voter fatigue. And I, I, I asked you a simple question, Congresswoman. I, I, you know, I feel like I'm getting a, a liberal I'm not going an to answer from a Kevin liberal. McCarthy, Sean. Okay. So even if you only have 30 votes. Kevin McCarthy. You will not if abide by what you told President standing, Trump to which abide I don't believe by. I, I got it. Be, I feel I like we've made progress. Not, look, I love President Trump. You're not going to turn me on him. You're not going to pit him against me. Not try to pit you. him against you. President That's Trump. what you said to and him. I am standing. I have You're seen the, one the that broken said it to trust. Him. I have seen the lack of accountability. 
Well, we are we are getting phone calls saying that we need to stop this. Kevin does not right. have the votes for I speaker. Got it. Period. Thank we need you. to find a consensus candidate, get this right, and get our country back on track. Thanks so much, Sean. Tonight's most. In- I love it because you can you can Kevin you can tell that they both basically hate each other. And then Laura Bobart could barely even hide how annoyed she is at this entire situation. And just like with that. I love it. I love it. But I love that she stuck to her guns. And I love that she didn't let Sean Hannity push her around because Sean Hannity is being a hypocritical douche. If we're honest about it. Sean Hannity's like, Lauren, um, you know, you don't have the votes either. That's not the point, Sean. It's not the point. And Sean Hannity knows that. And conservatives play this game all the time. This is why I don't mess around with them anymore. PragerU plays this game. Conservative commentators play this game. They play this game all the time where they damn well know what the point is. And then they put on their maximum power blinder sunglasses so that they literally can't see the point that's right in front of them. And they want to pretend that they are the ones with the moral high ground, that they are the ones with the ethical high ground, when it is no such thing. They're just hypocrites, nothing more. Kino reviews, so about that bet. Sorry, Phil, I missed this the first time, but I, I do appreciate it. Thank you for that. But man, Lauren Bobart, fire. Matt Gates, fire. I love the both of them. I may not be on their team politically necessarily, but I think this is great TV. You just can't. You can't beat this for anything. So guys, let me know in the chat. Do do you want to see this continue? How are you feeling about this whole thing? Because I could watch this go on for months and months and months and months and months and be perfectly happy every single day. I really want to know if Kevin McCarthy is going to drop out at some point. I feel like he's going to keep going. Like he's, he's like, I mean, Joshua predicted this on Tuesday that he thought Kevin McCarthy was going to make it. Maybe he will. But man, I really want to see them. I want to see them. Uh, I want to see them pull this off. I really do. 